Welcome to another exciting episode of On The Yard. I'm your host, Adrian Ezell. And I'm Lauren Branch. We've had a few bad things happen since the last episode, such as the firing of Penn State head football coach and the deaths of both Joe Frazier and Heavy D. But we have some student reactions about all of those. And later on, we'll see how students are getting ready for finals at the end of the semester, as well as the second round of the eating contest. It's going down. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. The start of November, a story pertaining Joe Paterno, the head coach of Penn State for 46 years. CNN and major news networks have been airing this story about Paterno accused of sexually abusing young males and Penn State players. I am on the campus of a t to speak to students and get their opinions about this situation. Shocked, surprised, couldn't believe something like that would happen at a big university like that. Honestly, like, not too much what really surprised me nowadays, but that was kind of like a real shock. Very shocked. Um, he was a good man from what I've seen coaching-wise. Um, it seemed Penn State really liked him, and it was sad to let him go. They're just now talking about it, and it's been going on for a long time, so I've heard. So I was kind of shocked, you know, that it hasn't been brought to people's attention until now. I feel like he did something wrong, so he should have been punished for it, regardless of the situation. I feel that they got over on the students and that it wasn't fair to them because they were supposed to be there to protect them. I feel like they did Joe Paterno dirty because he had nothing to do with it. He took the right protocol. So the way they did it, they didn't take time to look into it to see if he's actually one of the ones who were accused of it. So they kind of let him go on bad terms. If, like, if it's strong enough, I believe he should be fired. Should have been fired a long time ago. But now that he is fired, I guess, you know, I feel a little bit better about it. are stating that you've done it, so you're making the campus look bad, and he's made Penn State look very bad. What's up, Aggies? I'm Brian Dewberry, reporting from On The Yard. I'm here to talk to you students, get their thoughts and reactions on the passing of R&B and rap legend Heavy D and boxing icon Joe Frazier. Let's go talk to students to see how they're feeling about these untimely deaths. Um, Heavy D was an idol uh, for most people, most big people, because you never seen a big big guy dance and do all the stuff he could do, uh, act. Uh, he, he paid away for a lot of people. Um, I think there was like a sad moment. He just got done performing at the BET Hip Hop Awards, and he just lost a weight. So everybody thought he was going to do fine, but obviously he didn't. Passed up by a heart attack, as I, from what I'm hearing, and uh, we're going to miss him. He's like a big part of the hip hop nation. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he was, you know, old enough to be leaving us right now because if people do that history and research on him, he was producing for a lot of your favorite artists right now. You know, like he did a couple um, productions for The Game. I don't know if people know that, but I just feel like he was a, a good rapper overall. Like, you know, he could do it all. He could rap, he could sing, he could produce. So we really took a loss on that one. Oh, I grew up uh, watching Joe Frazier. I won't tell my age, but... Uh I saw the first fight between him and Muhammad Ali. I was rooting for Joe Frazier. And I was sad when he lost the second and third fight. But uh, he was a good fighter. The thing I know about Joe Frazier is that, I mean, he's a legend. Joe Frazier, like you've seen that he had a lot of heart in, in all his fights. Seeing that he had compassion in what, about what he do. And, it's, and it kind of gives me to, to want to have that compassion because I feel like his compassion is what gave him his strength to um, fight and do well in his boxing. And that's, that's kind of what impacted me most in Joe Frazier. But I was really hurt after hearing that he had passed away on TV. And I was really hurt about that. Welcome back to On The R. Bonjour. What language was that? French. You know, I got to study from the French finals. Oh, yeah. Well, speaking of finals, it is a very stressful time of year. But we have a few reactions from both students and professors to help students see you know, what they can do for finals to be not so stressful. And we're going to show you some of our campus activities that's been going on since the last show. After the break. This is our world. It's a place of wonder, a place of opportunity. It's also a place that graduates of North Carolina A&T State University enter with grand ambition. Classrooms, hospitals, corner offices, laboratories. These are the places where our students flourish. It's proof our graduates leave here prepared for the careers that await them. It's why you'll find Aggies everywhere making a difference in the world. In the College of Engineering, we build bridges from the simple to the complex. We have graduate and undergraduate programs in six departments. Our students and faculty study topics that touch your life today and affect your world tomorrow. In the College of Engineering, we make the future now. 
For more information, visit us online. What's up, y'all? I'm Tina. And I'm Erica. We are Mary Mary. And you're watching On The Yard. I'm Adrian Ezel. And I'm Warren Branch. And you're watching On The Yard. Now it's time for campus activities, and we've had a lot of activities since the last show. Such as the food clothing drive. And the multicultural dinner, which came perfectly around Thanksgiving time. Mmm. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. What are you telling? What did you eat for Thanksgiving? Oh, some sweet potato pies, mashed potatoes. Just stop, I'm getting hungry. Finals, are you ready? Hi, I'm Erin Diggs from On The Yard, and I'm standing here today outside the Memorial Student Union getting students and instructors reactions on how to prepare for your finals. Here with Jordan Pippen, a junior here at North Carolina A&T. So what is your major, Jordan? Supply Chain Management. Okay, so how do you prepare for your finals? Well, right now I spend most of my time in the library in the back corner where there's a little bit, not a lot of distractions or whatnot, so I can just study, be on my laptop, listen to music, and not worry about anybody coming around the corner, or at least seeing somebody come around the corner and see that I'm there and then they go off. So pretty much stay in the library all day. All day in the library. So, I mean, do you have any special rituals? you need to have music with you or anything? Music and faith. Music and faith, because ultimately finals are hard. Teachers want to do all the OD stuff at the end of the year, throw projects, papers. So therefore having faith to just get through it and then just pretty much doing the work. I'm now here with Victoria Dalton, a clinical counselor here at A&T. What do you think students should do to prepare for their finals? I think that students should attend class and they should also seek out assistance from their advisors and as well as the instructors for the classes. If they're falling behind, then don't wait until the last minute. Like, Go and utilize your um, instructor's office hours and try to get some tips on some ways to improve your grade if at midterm your grades aren't looking the way that you want them to look. Right, so I understand that you guys are having a program right now called Finals Are You Ready? Um, what is the basis of this program? The basis of our Finals Are You Ready program is an enrichment program to help students prepare for their exams. So we have presenters to come in in 50 minute increments. The first presenter is speaking on stress management. The second presenter is speaking on converting your notes to a study guide. And then the final presenter will talk about study skills and tips to prepare for exams. Hello, I'm Brian J, and I'm here in the Memorial Student Union here to take a look at the Help and Feed America food drive. Just want to get some basic reactions and on the people that are donating and to talk to a few people. I'm here with Matt right now. Matt, how you doing? Fine. How are you? I'm doing fine. What's your classification? Uh, I'm a sophomore. You're a sophomore. And what's your major? Uh, Earth Environmental Science. Earth Environmental Science. And you're here donating today, right? Yes, sir. How, how much did you donate today? I donated 100 cans of food. 100 cans of food? Do you feel like you've contributed enough to help Feed America today? Uh, I think I did somewhat my part. Uh, I just hope everybody else uh, feels the same way about helping out the community and helping the less fortunate. Uh, I wish I could give more, but that's about all I can do. Okay, thank you. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing all right. How about you, sir? I'm Lamont Williams. Lamont Williams. And what is your position over the Help Feed America food drive today? I'm actually hosting this. Um, I thought it would be helpful for the community to just reach out and uh, try to donate. Um, it's Thanksgiving time, so I thought that would be real helpful. Thanksgiving time. So how much stuff do you feel like y'all have got today? Uh, um, just today. I know we got over like four or 500 cans. Four or 500? That's a, and who's sponsoring this today? Um, I reached out to... Um, the Zetas, Zeta Phi Beta, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Um, we have the Bull City Aggies on this. We have um, NYNJ, and we have uh, Metro City Aggies. Do you feel like as many organizations that you've reached out to that this event will be successful today? Um, I think so. I think it will be really good because, for one, um, we're doing something good for the community. And two, I mean, it's case I was approved. So I know a lot of people don't want to do the hard work in the community. So why not donate? What's your name? Ashley Peterson. Ashley Peterson. Ashley, um, with the Help and Feed America food drive, what types of cans and foods have y'all gotten today? Okay, we're just looking to get mostly, you know, just canned foods, non-perishable goods that can, you know, be stored and used over time once we donate it back to Feeding America. And this is also case approved, right? Yes. How, how does the case approved hours work? For every three cans or three items that you bring, you get one case hour. You're part of the NYNJ connection, right? Yes. 
How do you feel about your organization contributing to Help Feed America Food Drop? Um, I actually like that we were given the chance to help out with this just because we normally do a lot of walks or, you know, just out in the community type things, and we've never done collections. So this is something new for us, and when we were asked about doing it, we were really excited to do it. How long has this event been taking place? Um, this entire week. It's been a week for three hours each day. We've been set up in the union and collecting. What's your name? Ashley Penn. Ashley Penn. Ashley, as long as this event's been going on, how success? How successful do you feel that it has been so far? I feel like it's been doing really good. Just today, we got about 300 cans. Different students are bringing in cans, so I think that it's going good. And with the weather being drowsy and rainy today, do you feel like there will be more people to come and tr contribute today? I feel like a lot of students aren't getting out there, bit, but the ones who are, they're doing a good job helping the community. Like I said, one student brought 100 cans by himself, so it's been really good. And do you feel that you're contributing enough as well as other donators, as well as your organization? Yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of my organization. We strive to help the community as best we can, and we're happy that we could give back to those during Thanksgiving time who don't have, because a lot of us are doing good enough to have, so, yeah. Thank you. The Help and Feed America food drive has been going on for a little over a week now. And just today, people have donated over 300 items. Let's go take a look at some of the items they have donated today. We have here a can of Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Also see a can of Del Monte kettle corn. A little bit of Chef Boyardee. And we even have some non-can items such as ramen noodles. The Help and Feed America Food Drive has been a great event. Students around campus have came together and to get together today to donate plenty of items to help less fortunate people on Thanksgiving. So these are the big times now, all right? You're with the Aggie Insider. I know you're used to doing like football and basketball things, but I mean, let me tell you, we're on a whole different level. But you know, stay, stay the same, you know? I Evan, mean, wait. wait a minute. What's going on here? There's lights, there's camera. What's, what a is this? Ashley, hey, hey. Wh what are you doing here? I'm here to take the show. Uh, well, see what? See you were late. So what happened was, um, I thought it'd be cool to have a uh, a backup host. A backup. So yeah, you're uh, replacing me? Uh, not replacing. No, just he's on standby just in case anything oh, happens. On standby. You know, okay. I mean, let me think about it. Think about this though. You know, okay. look, he's the bulldog, right? Uh -huh. So the girls automatically love him. I mean, look at that face. Look at him. He's just all right. And then also he appeals to guys because listen, he's fa he's macho. He's big. Evan, he can't even talk. Well, that's okay. He's got he's got character. He's charismatic, Ashley. He, Evan, okay, look, it's either me or the bulldog. Which one? You're thinking about it. Wow. Okay. But he's the bulldog. Whatever. Whatever. Ashley. Ashley. What? Ashley. Wait. Ashley, come here. We can. We can fix this. We can do something different. On Tuesday, November 15th, the Beta Epsilon chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated held their annual Miss Black and Gold pageant. The theme this year was Girls Around the World. First up, the contestants modeled their swimsuits. I caught up with a member of the crowd to see what all the hype was about. Uh, tonight, I would love to see the talents that the young ladies have, you know. That's by far always the most interesting thing, you know. The talents range from dramatic performances tap dancing a piano melody and even a modeling video directed and produced by one of the contestants lastly the contestants showed off their evening gowns and answered questions from the judges The responsibilities of Miss Black and Gold is to show equal, but honest and humble representation of the chapter. Um, with that being said, like if I, as president, were not able to make a certain event, I have a Miss Black and Gold go. In the end, Miss Courtney Whitsett took home the title of 2011-2012 Miss Black and Gold. I think the biggest challenge in preparing for the show is to remember it was a competition. We all grew really close um, throughout our journey of practicing together, and so we were really close together. Congratulations, Courtney. What's up, Aggies? I'm Brian DeBerry reporting, here to show you a few things of what's been going on at the Winter Clothing Drive this year. Let's go take a look. The Winter Clothing Drive is basically 
um, where we donate back to the schools and the school that we're donating to is the Hampton Elementary School and with that we just donate um, different winter things so it, such as gloves, clothes, um, scarves, hats, anything like that that will help them stay warm in the winter. So far 10 people have donated gloves, they donated scarves, and also a jacket. We think this is a good idea because um, Hampton Elementary always tend to get pushed aside. We only hear about Delhi and different things like that. So we wanted to cater to maybe the smaller group of elementary schools. I did. I donated quite a few jeans that I have been holding on to forever and a little sweater. Um, I feel like, I mean, it's still cool to donate. You know, I'm from Greensboro, so I think it's all right to give back to my uh, city in any way I can. Although I did not go to Hampton uh, Elementary, I mean, it's still okay to help out young kids in the community. Um, I think it's great. I mean, the weather in Greensboro is so random, you know, so they need th little things like hats and gloves and scarves, you know, when the weather is sunny one moment and then it gets cold the next. So I think it's a great cold and drive. I'm Nicole Jones here reporting for On the Yard at SUAB's Fitness Night. I'm Chelsea King and welcome to the Sound Off. With finals approaching, here's what students are thinking about. Actually, I haven't started studying because I have a lot of projects that I have to do before the finals. I had to take five exams, which is a lot, and it's pretty much a, a heavy load. I do think that finals are necessary because, um, I mean, some people learn stuff and forget about it. You may not do as well on the homeworks or anything else during, during the whole semester and a final can make a break, yes, great. Maybe it's not their day and they might fail it and fail a class, which I don't think is necessary. I prepare by looking over my notes, going to tutoring or SI sessions, if it's the math. Spend the whole week just like in my room studying. I'm studying a lot. I'm more in, I'm more in Blueford as of right now, just like everybody else. Everybody is more, much more in Blueford. I mean, it's a club for real, cause you know, everybody's in there until two in the morning doing great things, you know, socializing, getting work done, so it's a club. Adrian, what are you doing? You don't even have a watch on and you're not cute. I, I was trying to see my pose. You, you know, I was watching the Blue City Catwalk fashion show. I, I got inspired. Well, we're just gonna let them see the footage so they can see what real models look like, because I don't know what that is. And what you've all been waiting for. Dun, 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 dun. Round two of the eating contest. It was live and you're probably gonna be surprised with the results. So you wanna stay around and watch that. Yo, what up, it's your man CJ Hilton and you're now watching On The Yard. Stay tuned, keep it locked, you know what it is, baby. Finish your three.
College of Arts and Sciences is the largest college in North Carolina a and in terms of students, faculty, and number of courses taught. Our students gather to research the causes of climate change and meteorology, study human depression and social work and biology, and perform on Broadway. The university and community relax in the cradle of arts and sciences through WNAA, the University Gallery, our HDTV studio, and the award-winning university marching band. Visit us online. What's up, Aggies? I'm Brian D. Berry reporting for On The Yard. I'm here tonight at the Blue City Catwalk, hosted by Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, with live performances by Mac Miller and Denaja James. So I'm here right now with Robin Harris. Robin, can you tell me, are you excited about the first ever catwalk hosted by Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated? Yes, I'm very excited. I'm ready to see all the different type of fashion things that's going on, different type of trends and that's happening for the show. All right, so I'm here with Jason Cameron right now. Jason, what brings you out to the catwalk tonight? Um, I'm just excited to be out here. You know, I'm, I'm glad to see like Greek life taking a more active role on campus. We're expecting a great show of fashion tonight. Let's go see what people are talking about inside here. with Ashley Penn right now. Ashley, can you tell me a little bit more about the Blue City Catwalk? Yeah, the Blue City Catwalk was basically a fashion show that we wanted to host because a lot of times the fashion shows are just for members of Verge or Couture. We wanted it to actually be the student body where they could participate and compete for prizes. Angel, where can we find more of your music? Um, you can find my music on YouTube as well, but also I've got my entire album on iTunes. So if you type in my name, Denalja, that's spelled D-O-N-A-L-J-A, James is the last name, you can definitely find me. It did excellent. I mean, it was it was live, hype, models walk, they pumped out, hey, had a great time. So I'm here with Mr. Zeta Alpha Brian Jones and Mr. Zeta Phi Beta Josh Johnson. You guys tell me how y'all feel about the show tonight. I think the show was an overall success tonight. Uh, it was a very good turnout, better than I honestly expected it to be. And I did enjoy the um, I did enjoy the talent and the performances. Hi, my name is Kiki, and I'm a winner. Any more contestants? Hi, my name is Davina. She's lying to herself. <laughs> my name is Brian, and I eat swing steak. Dang breakfast. Dang breakfast. Uh, and that's what Sean does. <laughs> she ain't here. She ain't about that life. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Go, Kiki! 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 Go,
That's fine. I'll take my time to y'all lose them. Dang. Talking about my house later today. Thank you guys for lunch. <laughs> it's delicious. Come oh, on, you can do it. Kiki already won. It's a wrap. Yeah, I'm just getting my extra. Hey, Kiki. Kiki went ham. No breakfast. That's what they do. <laughs> I told y'all I do this. I'm a winner. What I won? What I won? What I win? You got free chicken. What I won? Say something to the camera. Let me. I'm a winner. <laughs> How did she win the eating contest and I didn't? I don't know. Guess looks can be deceiving. But it's not over. We still have one more round before we crown our champion. No, it's not happening. But on another note, that was the last show for the semester. It flew by and I'm sad. It just went so fast. It did. But no worries. We will be back next semester. Bigger? Better and um, crazier than ever? That'll do. I'm your host, Lauren Branch. And I'm your host, Adrian Ezell. This is On The R. Now I'm here with the winner of Heat 2, the Chicken Wing Contest. And what's your name? Kiki. Now Kiki, for winning, you know you gotta go against me. Now I don't know if you've seen the first On The Yard episode, but um, I went ham on them sub sandwiches. So I don't think you're ready. No, sir. You're not ready. I do this. Y'all heard it first. She signed her own death warrant. Alan Byers, Bonnie Art. Peace out.